You are listening to Living Beyond with Hope. Hey, that's me. Welcome to the podcast. This podcast is meant to help you realize you're more than a label and you too can create a life you love despite it. Each week, we bring you tips and inspiring messages to help you take the positive steps in your health that will allow you to live beyond. Now sit back, relax, meal prep, or take a walk as you dig into today's topic with your host, a gal living her life to the fullest with type 1 diabetes, Hope Manjifico. Today, we're talking about the first thing you need to do when you're trying to make a lifestyle change, the very first step to really be successful. So many of us set these goals and we are, we're like going gun ho we're really hardcore about it and then we fail. And we don't understand why we fail. And when we fail, we get upset at ourselves and we're like, why, why are we failures? Why can't we accomplish anything? Why aren't we good at anything in life? And That's not the case. That's not the issue that's actually at hand. And so you have to figure out that it's not you, it's the process. And so this is super epic. Like you're not going to believe how simple this is and how like it's like, whoa, common sense. But common sense doesn't mean common practice. And this is kind of my, my new saying that I have is that just because you think, nah, duh, hope it makes sense, you got to practice it. So The first thing to implement to make a lifestyle change, whether it's for your diabetes health, it's your general health, or you just want to be happier and healthier, your first step is a mindset and finding the motivation. Yeah, it's it's pretty simple. But tell me, like, how many times have you wanted to get healthier and become more fit and you just hop on the treadmill and you start running and it sucks? because you don't have a purpose behind it. You just want to lose the weight and you give up pretty quickly. Or a lot of people tell you that you need to eat healthier. Shoot, I'll tell you in a hot second that you need to cut back on your unhealthy carbohydrates and start consuming good healthy fats. But it's just because I tell you that and maybe you try it and you try all the gross foods because you didn't consult me first about some awesome foods you can have to be able to get fit, to lose weight, to have better blood sugars, and you give up. And why do you give up? Because your mind is not in the right place. You have to have motivation and a purpose. And so to do that, you need to sit back and think, do you believe that you are worth loving? Because in my opinion, you absolutely are. But you have to convince yourself that you are. And if you don't think you are, you don't agree that you are, you have to find a greater purpose. So perhaps you're you're a kid and you're unhappy with life, unhappy with who you are, where you're at in life, and you maybe you're even considering like ending your life. If that's the case, you have to think, is there someone in my family, my parents or my brothers, my sisters, anyone in your family that you you could keep pushing through for that they can be your motivation to take each day step by step and conquer your changes and your health and your overall lifestyle. And that typically is enough to motivate people to make these lifestyle changes. But if you're like, you know, I've, I've done a lot of great things in my life and sometimes we're blind to what we actually have done and what we're capable of doing. But if you sit back and you're like, you know, I actually have done a lot and I have a lot of potential and I have big dreams and I have big plans. That should be enough to motivate you. I know for a fact firsthand because I have completely changed my life and I determined what my purpose was and because I figured out my purpose in life, it was enough to motivate me to keep my lifestyle in this change of of high fat, low carb, exercising on a regular basis and being positive about life, being happy and being healthy. And that has been enough for me to stay on the right track and really to commit to a lifestyle change. So what will it be for you? You have to have your mindset right to begin. Sit down five minutes and just think about what do I care about? Who will motivate me? Perhaps you can find someone that's, that will motivate you to do this. And 
and think, how can I start implementing this today? And if you're like, okay, this, this makes sense. Obviously, clearly it has to start here and you think that sounds really cool. All right, so that's it. This was how to do the first thing you gotta do, the very first thing to make a lifestyle change so you can be happier and healthier and have the success that I know you're capable of doing and completing and fulfilling and being as awesome as you're capable of. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It means the world to me to be able to serve you and help you live beyond. If you found today's episode helpful or beneficial or share worthy, I would love a review in iTunes. A review in iTunes allows me to know what was helpful and allows us together to continue to change lives and help other people live beyond their diagnosis or label. And if you did find this share worthy or helpful, be sure to subscribe to this podcast. If you're on an Apple device, you can go to the podcast app or the iTunes store and type in Living Beyond with Hope, and there you can subscribe or listen to other episodes. When you subscribe, this allows you to know when there's a new podcast release. If you're on an Android device, no worries, I got you. All you have to do is download the Stitcher app and search for Living Beyond with Hope there and subscribe there. You can also go to www livingbeyondwithhope.com if you would like to listen to the episode again, if you would like to see the show notes and any links that were mentioned in this episode. Today's episode was also brought to you by my Living Beyond the Label audiobook. If you enjoyed this and you like hanging out with me in your ear, then you would love to get your hands on this audiobook. It helps us together strategize your best and most balanced life. If you want to learn more about it and to get your hands on the audio and the worksheets that go with it, you can go to www.mybalanceplan.com. The link is also in the show notes and there you'll be able to start strategizing your best life. Have an amazing rest of your day and remember to keep living beyond.